What's your reaction to this? Well, obviously, uh, it's very disappointing to have another senseless act of violence that affects seven people. Uh, uh, it appears that most of the injuries are non-life-threatening, but there, there is one that is in pretty bad shape. I understand that she is in surgery now. So our, our prayers go out to the family and to the victims, and we hope that they all recover. Um, it does not appear to have been a random act. The police appear to think that this was a targeted circumstance, but obviously there were some very, you had, had a one-year-old child, for example, obviously that was not a target. So uh, that's very concerning to me, and uh, I'll wait for further reports from the police on it. They are out canvassing in the neighborhoods to find out anyone who has cameras or information that might lead them to apprehend the person who did this dastardly act. And you're comfortable with what's being done? I am comfortable with what's being done. It's just frustrating to have yet another incident uh, where multiple there are multiple victims of gunshots in Shreveport. So uh, we need to be working on this as quickly as we possibly why can. Why are you comfortable with this? this Sir? The, why are you comfortable with this? There were three I'm children at least. I'm comfortable with what is being done. Okay. I didn't say I was comfortable with the circumstances. Okay. I said I was very well, uncomfortable with the circumstances. Okay. I'm comfortable with what the police are doing to try and apprehend the suspect. Okay. Um, uh, I, I made this point and kind of a question to uh, both Tabitha and, and Reverend Green. Yeah. And, and Chief Wayne. Uh, last night, 12 people were shot in Baton Rouge. And right. Out in out on the, uh, California, a number of people were shot and killed right. out there. Right. right. Uh, it's not a. It's not a just Shreveport issue is it? it isn't just a Shreveport issue but it's concerning to me because it is Shreveport and, I, and I, I, it, unfortunately there's seven victims in Shreveport and I don't draw any comfort from the fact that they're victims from in other places so I'm very concerned about these things continuing to happen uh, we're having uh, we're having violence at a at an increased rate in Shreveport and we need to be doing everything we can to stop it uh, you've been you've been mayor for a little over uh, three weeks uh, right is there anything yet to uh, any programs or anything like that that's been identified by you? No, I've met, I've met with the chief on uh, four or five different occasions to, to find out what, is, what they're doing currently and what, what additional things that we can do uh, to do it. I, th I still think that the secret to this long term is better relationships. And I don't mean that they're bad, I just mean they're more intensive relationships between the people who are actually on patrol and the, the captains and the patrol supervisors uh, and the neighborhoods. I really think that is a, a key. I think the, the chief agrees with me about that and hopefully we'll be addressing that shortly. Mayor, very little is heard from past administration about the safety for our Asian citizens here. In Monterey Park, it was a targeted shooting. Asian communities are very quiet. How are you going to reassure our Asian community here in Shreveport that they are safe and, and that I, you're working to keep them non-target? I, uh, I am concerned about every community in Shreveport. That includes the Asian community. So uh, I, we're not aware of anything that has come to our attention that would give us give rise to, to the belief that they are at, at risk, but we're concerned about every citizen in Shreveport.